GH Smart Sport TV, your ultimate sport channel. GH Smart Sports TV Sunye when you dare decay when you did she mommy sell but my dear subscribe to channel no my na hit notification bell no nafa to all send your bear yeah update for food yeah once I and you be I can now with me at you so as soon as subscribe to channel new year over share a day and my aim now why leave you comment our comment session room now you can kind of now at the amount me day at the black sam number more kai said you did a day banke technology solutions and a family can you know gana black stars head coach otuado and a daniel amate a press conference a one more day a share name in central for busy with someone sam f a gana new korea a kensi a a jwada ya babi siano almost time with some questions f a gana black Stars and the Portugal match, of course, you know, and send some appear money in a coach Otto Adu and the Daniel Amate in your own crying a year in semi bibri. I know that the press conference no and some no ebrao and which Tarek Lamte and so a casa of a match a when you are crying at the boy in the first World Cup gamer were boy a bride in the bamboo as a substitute. Mo besi ya kani bi edema Ghana Black Stars woman a Portugal Kensia woman she a Ghana Dean Kugo. Three two no na eno enso sem nyina ya de bebra o kwaso no subscribe to your channel no afi yanko na yanko hwe press conference a coach otu adu ene daniel mate edema msenchefo na onso ya de bi ebra o abo gh smart sport tv so is unfair and um the second thing is surely we try our best and but football is is a lot of a lot of uh things come together sometimes is players are not in a good mood sometimes the coach takes the wrong decision sometimes the other team is just too good sometimes the referee takes good decisions sometimes somebody's sleeping i don't know who but somebody's sleeping sometimes and so it, it's 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 really really hard and so you need a little bit of luck but you have to work you have to work for this luck and um, up to this moment, nothing really happened. Everybody has, has still got chances, some more, some less. And um, I'm hoping and I'm praying that uh, at least one or two teams can, can proceed to the next stage. Um, no, up, uh, up to this point, we didn't get any any answer. Um, and maybe I can use this stage now to apologize if I was a little bit too rude. But I was very emotional after the match. Hopefully, I won't get a fine. And, and the second uh, thing is yeah, we have a very good relationship. Um, Chris Uden is an experienced coach uh, with a lot of experience and a um, no, lot of knowledge and he's always trying to, to give his best for the team um, holding a lot of things out of my head for me to concentrate on the on the, on the on the team and on the tactics um, but also there he's given advices I ask him we have a good exchange with him but also with the other coaches George Boateng and Dili Dramani and um, Chris um, does really really well and especially in, in coordinating a lot of things around the camp um, um, he was here um, to to inspect the hotels. He was uh, here to organize all the the things which needed to put in place, and uh, has done a great job so far. And is a big big help to me. I think they are amazing in the first game. Our supporters, uh, the supporters, good. And I know tomorrow they are going to do the same. Yeah, I can just say the same. Um, um, you know, we our fans, no matter where we go, um, even no matter what situation we, we had, they were behind us very, very solid, even after a bad African Cup when we played the, the qualification games against Nigeria, fully support. And the same here. I'm really, really surprised that there's a huge uh, Ghanaian community in Qatar and we really want to use the opportunity to thank them for their support. Even when we arrived at the hotel, um, it was massive. Um, really, really um, appreciate the, the, the support from the fans. I thank you. Yeah. Uh, like we have to go with uh, our plan, like uh, our coach told us, so we'll go with the plan. And I think uh, it worked for us, but in the game, things can change. Uh, first half was good. In second half, I think uh, we open up, so and then we get more chances to go forward. But I think we learn and uh, we move forward. Yes. Maybe, maybe I, the question was for him, but maybe just to 
I don't know, uh, maybe he doesn't want to praise himself, but they did really, really well. These are world club stri uh, world class strikers, Ronaldo, Bernardo Silva, Felix Yao, and to hold them down to maybe one major chance where Atizigi came out really, really quick and and uh, saved us. Um, it's, it's massive. It's really, really good. And if um, you don't see this, I don't know. It's really, really good. Anything can happen. I don't know. First of all, we have to think about the team. We have to think about um, um, improvement. And he was good, but also him. He has to improve. And he can do even better. And for us, the most important thing is not... Um, yeah, it's not about who's going to be a star. It's, it's for us it's about to get to the next stage. And, uh, and this is the most important thing. Glad that you acknowledge that uh, he's really, really good. But uh, for us, it's not a topic at all. We, we want to qualify as a group and for this we will surely need his qualities as well and I hope that he can show um, even more um, than he did already. To win the World Cup? I would normally I would like to go with Germany but the odds are not that good at the moment. Um, I have to think a little bit. Maybe Brazil. Yeah, I think uh, at the moment it uh, uh, looks like Portugal but if they would be a little bit unlucky we could have drawn. Have, have uh, drawn against them, so you can you see anything is possible. And uh, Uruguay is good, and South Korea also. So I think it's an equal group. Anything can happen. Um, there might be some surprises with um, nobody was is calculating with. At the moment, it looks like Portugal is, is, is ahead of the group. Um, this one, um, sorry that, but I can't answer. If I go in details, we will prepare South Korea to play good against us. So um, I hope you were on my side, but uh, uh, this question is a little bit hmm, made me thinking. No, sorry, I can't answer this. Um, but we will see. Okay, what I can see, we see a passionate team. You know, we, we will see the same passion which they showed the last game. Um, this I'm 100 percent sure is a big stage. Um, Everybody is hungry to play. Um, training good, making making it difficult for me to make decisions, and really, really looks good. And uh, they will show it, I'm sure. The second question was what again? Sorry, I don't know. I mean, how old is Kudos? 20, 22. You felt he was under pressure? Oh, so for me, it's just it's not about young and old. It's about good players and not so good players. And I think the, the guys did well, you know. I think Portugal is ranked fourth in the world. We are 60th. And I don't see that they were they had a lot of ball possession, but still it was kind of equal. And so I didn't see any pressure. Everybody was was, was eager to, to play and to, to, to play good and did well and um, showed what he can. And yeah, I don't know. I know that there was a lot of criticism, but because we make mistakes and it's uh, a little bit funny sometimes that um, let's say people are going on Baba Rahman, for example. Oh, he made a mistake, but they forgot about that he also um, created our two goals, you know. So <laughs> people like to pick this and that. But I think in all, it was very, very good and um, boys did well and uh, hope that uh, we do it again and that it will be rewarded. Yes, I think we showed that we played uh, very, very organized, I think. It's my opinion. Um, and yeah, I mean, they, they are professionals. They are very, very fast. Big compliment from my side um, with all the games we played. Various, very um, formations. So last game we played with the uh, three central defenders uh, from the start, the very first time, and they adapted very, very fast. We had 10 days to, to prepare. Um, in between, there was another match where we played with a four chain against uh, um, Switzerland, and then they switched to, to we, or we switched to a free, free chain, and they adapted really, really well. So, um, respect to, to the boys that they can, in my eyes, always fulfill the plan um, which I had for the games, and um, um, yeah, they are really, really fast and adapting, and that's really, really good. But this is actually what I expect on a on a national level. And because you don't train much with your players, you don't you just see them maybe for a week and then you have to perform and the players have to be very, very fast in their head. And especially if we switch also with what we did in, against Portugal, um, the formation and then we play it differently and they have to be fast and adaptive. But this is what they're doing in, in their teams. Amart is playing Leicester City. It's not a small club, for example. And this is... The, and um, yeah, we surely want our players to feel well. And then to have a good relationship with the players. And I think uh, personally, if you have a good relationship with players, they can perform even more. Nice time with Tariq. Tariq, good evening. Good hey. to have you. Um, first of all, I, I, on a lighter note, I, I just want to find out if indeed your phone was buzzing and busy after the first match against, against um, Portugal. And what were they telling you? 
Yeah, I think it was a proud moment for both me and my family. I thank God for the opportunity that I was given. Um, but ultimately, the result it wasn't what we wanted. And the main thing is that the team get the, the right result and we wanted to get a win. A uh, positive result from the game and we didn't get that. So it was a bittersweet moment. I was proud to make my World Cup debut and grateful to be given the chance. But I would have liked the team to have obviously got the got a positive result and then it would have been fantastic all around. But we're looking forward to the next game. As young as you are, um, I think many players hardly get that chance to play at the World Cup at 21, 22, but you've been able to make it. Um, how important is this to the development of your um, you know, career? Yeah, I think I'm, like I said, very blessed to be in this position I'm in. Uh, a lot of hard work that goes into this and just check out praying to God and keeping your head down and focused. It's every little boy's dream to be on the, world, the, the world's biggest stage and playing in the World Cup, so I'm very grateful for that. And you can't take any opportunity lightly, but um, you know that you've, the amount of work that you've put in and there's still a lot of work to go. So this only makes you more hungry and more ready to try and like, keep improving your game and achieve, um, achieve more things like this. What have you been discussing um, among yourself since the, the first game against Portugal? Um, and um, what are you telling yourself going into the next game? No, I think it's just more of the same. We just try to work, on, work hard on the training pitch um, with each other, listen to what the coach has to say and try and put it into the next game. We've lost our first game. Um, we have two days to go into our next game. Um, is there any pressure? Because if you lose, it means you are almost out, but the team looks composed. What exactly is the current state of, of your mind as, as players in the team? I think there are positives from the last game that we have to build upon. Uh, we've been training well and working tightly together as a group and listening to what the coach has to say and we're looking to, to bring that out in the next game and we're confident we can get a positive result. How well do you know your opponents? Yeah, we've obviously watched a lot of videos of them and you know some players from playing against them. So yeah, we, we know about them. Every team in this competition is a good team and you respect them. But um, if we work hard and we, we keep progressing well like we're doing, we, we hopefully we get a good result. Interesting. Um, so we've been in, we've been in, in camp for, for about one week. Um, what has been the, the chemistry among you, the players, and what has been keeping you going? Yeah, I think we, we, we're getting on really well. Um, it's been an enjoyable camp. Uh, ultimately, we're here just to, to work hard, to put our heads together and bring out good results on the pitch. But off the pitch, it's been really good. And yeah, I think you can see on the pitch as well, we're moving in the right direction. So we're looking forward to that and hopefully it continues. What's been your most exciting moment? I don't think you can just pick one. Like, we're blessed to be in the, the position that we're in. And we're just trying to like soak up every moment of it. Like for me, especially, it's my first um, experience at the World Cup, and I'm I'm just trying to soak in everything. And like when it's time, give my best for the for the team when we went on on the pitch. I'm sure it's a new environment. Looking at where you were born, where you grew up, the kind of friends you have made over the years, you now need to make new friends in a new environment as well. So I mean, you you play with them, um, you play against them, but now you are with them in the same camp just that experience? I think everyone's been very welcoming for me um, from the last time and this time here. Um, it was a really good group and everyone gets along so I'm, I'm really happy and um, I'm just looking forward to, to getting the right positive result on the pitch. Were you surprised to, to, to see the output of the team against Portugal? The hunger, the determination, the desire, the fighting spirit um, that we, we witnessed on on, on Thursday, did it come I think, to you as a support? I think you can see the way we train. We train exactly the way we play and we're always working hard and pushing each other to the, the levels that we know we can be at in training. So when that comes out on the pitch, it's just a product of what we're doing on the, on the training pitch. Listen to what the coach has to say and the hard work that we're putting in and hopefully we can get the, the result that we need in the next game. So Korea is next. What's your message to Ghanaians? Yeah, we're going to try our best on the pitch and we'll get a positive result. Okay, all right. Thank you, Tariq.
I will say, ye update ya ye de brewi. Ben K Technology Solutions. Ena e boye ma ye de brew. Ben K Technology Solutions say, the internet is the highway to our business. Wamuton, modems, any my files are huro nina. E bi timi fa 32 mobile devices. E bi insu timi fa 10 devices. Wamuton ni ne e bi. Wamu sign e wafa vehicle tracking services. Wamu devices e bi timi attracke u vehicles. Se u wa fleet of cars. Se u ya company. Ana se u ya individual la. U wa fleet of taxi. You bet me at the device, a bubumua, a bet me a track, baby, a casino, and I'm in a no one send you at Yama Esiko. What track it taxis, minivans, sales vans, and a motos are ruinina. Why dealers in computers, desktop computers, laptop computers, would delay pen drives, hard drives, and a projectors, you know, Snam D can kind internet devices or 4G my files, 4G routers, decoded 4G routers, and a 4G my files are ruinina. Be so MTN data so or Tony in a B. Fred Benke. Technology Solutions. I was zero two four five four eight eight two seven seven. Obey to me. I was a poor mo. I was zero five zero eight two nine eight six three zero. Ben K Technology Solutions. The internet is the highway to our business. GH Smart Sport TV, your ultimate sport channel.